Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Activities for People Living at Home with Dementia. We are proud to offer this series with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and the United Way of Tarrant County. Some of these programs are recorded and some are made available for viewing through a YouTube channel for future use. Goodness, where did my finger go? <laughs> <laughs> I am Martha Brown, your shaky uh, leader for the day, and I am bringing to you Miss Emily Corbin, who is teaching us Nia, Moving to Heal. My body always needs a little bit of this, and I'm glad to turn it over to Emily. Good morning. Thank you, Martha. Yes. Yay. Don is ready. He's I'm ready to go, ready. yeah. He is pumped this morning. Don, I think the cool weather is like energizing you. It must right? be. Must be. Sometimes yeah. that happens. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, it, the cool thing is, uh, no pun intended, <laughs> if you're cold right now, then what we're doing is going to warm you up. And um, you may also, if you're enjoying this weather, feel energized by it. So right. either way, you can you can <clears throat> embrace what we're experiencing right now. So remember that um, for our NIA practice, we're going to sit on the edge of our seats and we're gonna do that with our shoes off so we can really feel the feet on the floor. And so what if you say, if my floor is cold, I don't wanna feel that. Um, that's okay. Right, you could keep your socks on and still get a lot of sensation. Um, just make sure you're stable and not going to slide around. And then get on the edge of your seat, get nice and tall. Notice what's your posture like today without a lot of effort. And then notice am I rounding my shoulders? Am I lifting my chest, puffing it up? or what's going on down here in the core body. And how could you make a straighter line from your tail to the crown of your head without holding on to tension anywhere? So be in this place of letting your head kind of float like a bobble head on top of your shoulders. And then start to take some deeper, slower breaths. And when you exhale out, just see if you could let go of a tiny bit more tension than you did with your last breath. And so there, there's not really a way to measure that, except that your intention is to let go of that breath. And let go of that tension. And then with your next inhale, as you're smelling the moment through your nose and your exhale, letting it out through your mouth, what kind of lung volume are you noticing today? So on a scale of one to 10, giving yourself a score if you need to do it again, Maybe a little easier to breathe with this cooler weather for some of us. And then just let that go. Let your eyes remain closed and stay connected to the sensation of your feet on the floor, the sensation of length and stability in your spine. We'll start to get some music here. <laughs> Your eyes are closed. Just kidding. <laughs> So if your eyes are not closed, let's close them. Let's take the palms and the fingertips to your thighs and just make a little bit of friction slowly. Right? 
So just sensing your own touch and then coming back to still. Let's take a gentle circle of your head and your neck. So letting your right ear fall to your right shoulder. Instead of letting the shoulder come up to the ear, keep the shoulders relaxed and then start to let your chin move towards your chest. Let your chin hang here for a full breath. So you're not forcing the chin to the chest. You're just allowing opening in the cervical spine, softness in the muscles that support that part of your spine. When you're ready, let your left ear move toward your left shoulder. Take a little pause here, sensing space on the right side of your neck. And then use your exhale to bring your head back up to neutral, straight. With our next inhale, we'll roll our shoulders up towards our ears. Very stiff, yes. And then exhale, just let your shoulders drop. Good. Keeping that same inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, this time slowly draw your shoulders onto your back. So it's much more intentional. Good. Nice. And now lifting your right foot off the floor, rotate your ankle. Any direction will do. Take it slow. And then move the other way with it. Now point and flex. So flexing would be pushing my heel, engaging the muscles of the thigh, and then pointing, reaching my toes way out. Okay. Sit back a little bit here. And then when you're ready, take that foot to the floor. And again, connect to the sensation of placing your right foot on the floor. And then the left. Lifting the foot, rotating, any direction, and then the other direction. Stay connected to your breath. Stay connected to your posture so that you're not collapsing in one place and lifting in the other. And then point and flex. Sense the muscles of your thigh assisting with the flex and really sense your calves as you point. And then take your foot back to the floor. Pay attention to that moment when your foot touches the floor. Good. Now wrist will start to circle. <sighs> Taking some exhales to release any leftover tension other way. Good. And then exhale to push the heels of your hands out. And then allow yourself to lean forward. Now bring your hands in as you come up. Palms up. Good. All the way to the back with your elbows. Good. Now push them out again. And reach. Bring them in. Elbows back. Again. It's the exhale breath. The inhale when I pull in. Nice. Right arm sways. Lengthen through the right edge of your body. Keep your feet firmly planted. Nice. Left arm instead. Stay with it. This way. And the arm comes down. Good. Remember this from the beginning. Slowly this time. Little pause. Elbows reach to the back of the room. Good. Now both arms up. Let your shoulders drop. Now sway. Really send the 
about your obliques here, the muscles in the sides of your abdomen are supporting and lifting. And then your arms can start to sway down the front. Look at your palms as they push away. So you're looking at the backs of your hands. Yeah. Now taking your feet a little bit wider for stability, we're gonna go tempo. Okay. Looking where you reach, arms, way, side to side. Now, if that's too much, you can keep it really close to your center. Nice. Reaching to the front. And pulling. Elbows back. Nice. Let's shake that off a little bit. A little rumbling in your heels. Rumbling the door. We are all <laughs> The whole house is shaking. Every energy, every being is all connected. So as you're ready, we'll start to inhale. And then slice the space with your webbed face fingers. Inhale. And exhale, slicing the space. Good. So now the shoulders are going to alternate. Yeah. So I'm brushing the shoulders. One, nice and slow. A little pause right here. Then the other. A little pause. And then the left. Or whichever. A little pause. Good. So moving. Pause. A little faster. Pause. Good. It could simply be that you're brushing your shoulder without moving the arm. Nice. Either way. Good. Now, we are allowing your ribs to shift, just swaying the torso on that horizontal. Yeah. Good. Stay long in your spine. Push your feet into the ground to get longer. Nice. Reaching to the front and pulling elbows back. Reaching heels of hands, pulling elbows back. A couple more times. This is the last one. Arms. Exhale, arms come down again, slicing the space. One more. No slow. Side sway as your arm floats. Slow motion. It's the right arm, maybe it's the left. And now it flips to the front. Reach way out there. Slow motion. Maybe behind you. And looking where you reach. How about the left arm bringing right back into place first? Nice. It floats. So I know we want to keep with the faster fluid movement, the nervous system is going to get more adaptable when we move between the different kinds and characters of movement. There are types of floating front and existence that you have no concept of whatsoever. Nice. Remember the shoulders, brushing one to the front. Nice. And then the other. 
You can take the whole arm into it. Right arm. There are types of life and then it drops in existence that to the side. No Left arm. Whatsoever. And then it drops. Right arm. Now I'm going to tap my foot on that same side. Right arm. Right foot. Left arm. Nice. Left foot. Right? You got it. Tap it down. If you get mixed up, let that go. Less thinking, more feeling, sensing, being. Nice. All right, both arms just to the front. And then to the top. And then down. Nice. So that's our pattern for the moment. Yeah, arms to the front and top, and down. Keep going. Front, and up, and down. Do it one more time. Front, and Way up there, and down. Now we're going to flute arms out to the side. It's all connected. Push up. And almost like there's a glass ceiling above you in the shape of a sphere. I want you to see if you can make a handprint in every spot on that sphere. Just the top part. Really place your hands up there. Now, if your arms get tired, lift yourself more with your belly, right? And then the arms can start to soften and flirt down. Soften, slow motion. What about just the right shoulder? and it drops down again, and then the left. So I'm placing my inhale here. Exhale there. Now what about both? I know, it's warm, huh? Most of us don't have the air on today because the weather's so nice. <laughs> so sense your ankle joint. However that looks for you, right? Maybe that means you move them. Maybe that means you do nothing and you just be in awareness of your ankle. I don't know. So finding a stable position with your knees a little wider than your hips. And then bringing that sphere of energy that we play with, our ball of light right here. Nice. We're gonna take a step with the whole left foot. Now this is the movement generally, so we'll get that. The whole foot, right? And now let's do the right side. It's small right now. Good. Step. Step it. Nice. Keep going. Now we're going to do both sides. Start with the left. Stop. And then draw your palms all the way up. Right side. Palms come all the way up. Left side. Good, right, and all the way. Now pressing the right heel and then the left, 
press, 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 press. Good. Now what about a little faster? Letting the elbows dance, working with that shoulder opening we've been doing since the very beginning of our practice. And we could let this actually start to become a strike an elbow strike, yeah? Right, so you could just keep your hands like this. Or you could start to play with alternating fist to palm. Well, time to return to our step and our spear, all right? We ready? Two and one, let's step here comes back up. Step. Good. Left side. And back up. Yes. Look where you reach. Yes. Now right side here and left. Let your hands go. So let there be some softening in the spine and the shoulders here to where the stability, the structure is coming from this foot movement of heel press, yeah? But the upper body is just kind of playing along. Let's see if we can go a little faster, closer to your middle, just right here, just for a moment. Looks a little like hot coals under your heels. And now, slow, heavy bones, both heels lift and press. Blowing off some steam. Nice. Now left spear and up through the middle. Right spear and up through the middle. You got it. Right side. Left side. Reach a little further this time. Right side. Now what about press and elbow strike? Nice. Last one and center with your palms. Take a little pause. Take your hands to your thighs and make a little friction. Now, different kind of friction, more percussive variety. Reestablishing your connection between your feet and the floor, your seat and the chair, getting taller in your spine. Nice. When you're ready, extend your right leg. And with your right arm, brush the outside of your leg. Then the inside and up again. Now the left hand inside and outside. Right hand inside. Good, left hand in, 
and on the outside back up again, right? And then in. If you get confused, anywhere you pick it up is the right place. I get confused all the time. And switching to left, right foot comes back to the floor. Readjust yourself in your seat, extend through your left leg. So really engage your foot flexing so that you sense the muscles of the leg. Good. Left arm start, it goes down the outside of the leg and then back up the middle. Yeah. Then right hand, middle and up the outside. Good. Left. One more time. Both feet on the floor. Good. So taking a tap just with your toe. And then foot on the floor. Other side. Tap. Both foot on the floor. Alternating. Hold foot. Tapping with the left toes now and whole foot on the floor. Now, duck walk. You guys can see my feet today. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, thank you. Remember, duck walk heels are firmly planted and balls of the feet lift. All right. So we're gonna start to incorporate our arms. So the challenge here, don't start the arms yet. Oh, it's hard for me, is that we're gonna keep a little different rhythm with the arms and the legs. And I will catch myself, I don't know, every time wanting to match the rhythm okay so let's get this in our feet first there it is ah. <laughs> and now oh see what happens all of a sudden they end up together every time you catch that happening I want you to return only to the feet all right only to the feet Ah, you can do it again. There it is. Oh my goodness. Don't let it go. Ooh. The brain is working hard here. Let's let that go. <laughs> Big heavy bone thigh. Nice. So remember the brushing of the front and the pulling in. Yeah. So just the right arm now and pulling it in. You can use your left hand to push off. Nice. One more and we'll move to the left side. So I want you to notice if the weight shifts in, you guys keep on going, move into your left side. I'm gonna talk for a second. If you notice that when you're leaning forward, your weight shifts into your toes or that you're gripping the floor, I want you to bring more consciousness to your belly and really rooting your seat into the chair so that the points of connection between your feet and the floor are really these points on the ball 
and the heel and not so much the toes. And that's gonna help you use your muscles instead of your joints. Good. Okay, keep going, guys. Left arm. <laughs> Let's alternate. Left arm and right. And then you can start to also reach behind you with the other arm. Now what if we took this same movement up and down? You can let your hands pass through a little prayer right in the middle. Last one. Now we're gonna reach the same way, but we're gonna let our hands dance a bit right here. Good. Now turn the palm direction the other way, like that, yeah. So keeping your hands in the same position, arms in the same position, the palms turn the other way. Good. Pass through the center, take a pause. Big breath in. Letting the breath settle out, good. So now inhaling to reach up through the left arm. Wait for it. So this start to send length from fingertips to fingertips. Yeah. Maybe a little sway in your spine. Be patient. Good. Finding this way right when you hear that beat come in. The little Spanning of your hands, the muscles of your entire arm engaging just with this movement of your wrist. Good. Now what if we turned the palms the other way? Ugh. It'll feel a little weird. Play with it. Yeah. It's harder for your dominant hand here. Now what about turning, alternating direction? Nice. And then bringing them back through the middle. We'll take palms up, palms down. Same thing, but lift your leg, alternate leg. You can make it bigger and engage your whole body, right? Or you can keep it pretty small. Right? Any version, any way, as long as you're honoring your body, exactly the right way. So this inhale as we lift, exhale as we draw down. Nice, creepy crawler fingers. Arms are close in, feet are on the floor. And then, I'm not sure we've done spear finger before. So, first two fingers, solid like a, a spear, a spear, not a spear, and then, Last two fingers pointed down. Now I want you to play this beautiful melody with these spears. Spears, you guys help me. Help me say spear. <laughs> and then let the fingers go. So shimmering fingers, totally relaxed fingers, anything. Anything. 
<laughs> have fun. There's a playful, somewhat serious tone at the same time, right? Feels sentimental to me. Anybody else get that? Now, what about just your shoulders? How do your shoulders dance? And make a picture of this melody. You might want to close your eyes. It's a little easier to sense that internal dance. Nice. Now, what about your right ankle? and your right toe, like drawing whatever picture your body wants to create. And now the left. So there could be a very clear rhythm and structure to what you're drawing, or it could be completely abstract and free form. You're drawing with your left foot. Whatever inspires whatever this movement inspires, whatever this music inspires. Nice. A little bit longer. Bring it back to the floor. Good. Just like at the beginning, the arms brush. This time they're gonna go all the way up. Look up, tiny bit of a back bend without forcing. And then bring yourself back to that straight line and your hands glide down and into the space of your heart. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Those on the fly playlist, sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get. It's all good. There we go. It is all good. So, let's let that be our theme for the rest of the day, right? It's all good. We can find joy in any experience. So taking a moment here to notice your heartbeat and reconnecting with the sensation of your breath moving into your belly. And moving out. And just like at the beginning of our practice, allowing the right ear to fall towards the right shoulder, sensing some space in the left side of the neck, relax your jaw. And just hold it here for a moment, breathing. When you're ready, exhale to let your chin fall towards your chest. Slowly making your way there. And then a full breath here. Keep your shoulders down. When you're ready, inhale. Let your head glide up. Left ear moves to left shoulder. If your shoulder wants to help, ask it to stay no need. All this space is going to come from the right side of your neck here. Release your jaw. And when you're ready, bring your head back up to neutral. We'll lift up just the right elbow, taking the hand right behind you, like you're going to pat yourself on the back with your right hand. 
good. Just a couple of breaths here. I'm going to demonstrate. When you inhale, you're sort of lifting your hand, and when you exhale, like slow motion pat. Good. Let's let that go and do the other side. One more. Slowly let your shoulder relax down, elbow soften. And then hands to heart again. So the outer eyes close, the eyes of your heart are wide open. The sensory eyes of your body also wide open and receiving so much invaluable information. And it's all good, right? It's all good. As long as we're sensing, we're living. Let's inhale, clear the space, reach. Exhale, throw something you don't need to the back of the room. <laughs> Let's do it again, ready? Inhale. One more time. I had to make it big, I, got, I had a lot of stuff I don't need, right? <laughs> throw it off to the back of the room. Thank you, friends. It's all good today. Thank you, Thank Emily. You. Thank always you. fun to be with y'all. I always experience more with you than I imagine I'm going to, and that surprises me every time. It's fun, not, what a happy surprise. Yes, it is. <laughs> not just body movement, it's in here too, and I love that. And you know what, we get the most out of things when when both of those are happening at the same time. Exactly. A partnership. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Emily. Thank you. Thank Have you a beautiful everybody. day, everyone. Thank you, too. Thank you, Emily. Let's Thanks. take a look at what's coming up. Ooh, okay. Emily's going to be repeating this at 1130 today if you want to do it twice. Ooh. And at 1.30, TCU Frog Bingo for anyone who is so inclined. We're still in the middle of the month and today and one more before the end of May. Ooh. Tomorrow, Emily is back with Fit Wits. All at right. 8.30 and 11.30 on Tuesday. And at 1.30 Tuesday, we have harp and cello, which are always favorites. Mm -hmm. Not fun. a bad bunch at all, right? No, it's not. Sounds great. All the apples are good. Anybody yes, they want, are. Yes. Anybody have anything they want to share today? That's a good no. thing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I'm pleased to share my day with you. Good morning, yeah. Hans. I didn't get to say. Good morning, Hans. Yeah. Good morning, Hans. Well, it's a good to see you. Checking in. I'm glad. Yes. You always look good. What a deal. <laughs> Chris and Ashanti take care of each other. Myra, yeah, Don, see you guys later. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Have a great one. Bye. Bye-bye.